Hey guys, what is up? In the last few days, a ton of new jailbreak tweaks have been released, so I thought I'd make a uh, best new jailbreak tweaks of March 18, 2013. The first tweak, as uh, mentioned in the title, will be a PSP emulator for the iPhone. Now it's early in development in its port to iOS, but it does work uh, despite a bunch of bugs that it has. So here you can just see I'll load up a game. If you want to know how to get this and how to uh, load ROMs and everything, just view the link in the description and I'll tell you how to install the emulator on your device. It was a post made a few days ago on Jailbreak Nation. So here as you can see I can just uh, show you what Monster Hunter looks like. It's obviously uh, not good enough to like play the full game but you can get a gist of it and it's sort of cool especially for ROMs that work better than others. As you can see this one uh, has problems with the text but you can see it does load uh, the textures and once you get into the game you can do a few things even though it's pretty limited. I think it's more of a cool concept and that a full port uh, with all the bugs fixed should be coming in the future. So you can see here's basically uh, the menu and you can see you can interact with it and it's just an emulator. So that's just a quick uh, preview and you can download it with the link in the description tutorial. Another awesome tweak that we've released in the last few days is transparent camera bar. Uh, as you may notice the bar on the very bottom of my camera is transparent and that allows me to uh, see a bigger view while taking photos. I think it's a little uh, tweak that's pretty cool. It allows you to get a little more uh, into the shot uh, as you're viewing it and just a really unique tweak and since it's free there's no reason why you shouldn't download it. Now this third tweak, which is also free, is called Crescent. Now it's developed by Joshua Tucker, so it got a lot of uh, hype on it. Essentially what it does is it allows you to enable and disable Do Not Disturb using Siri. Enable Do Not Disturb. Okay, I turned on Do Not Disturb for you. And there you go. Essentially you can turn it on and off. Disable Do Not Disturb. And uh, my network is a little laggy. But you can see it's uh, very effective and uh, such a simple pro uh, process that you think Apple would have implemented it into their system. And to finish it off, I wanted to just show that Pandy got an update which makes it a lot more useful. Every time you load Pandora, now you get this uh, option to either dismiss or import uh, to your library which is a lot nicer than the previous version that could fill up your library pretty fast. Anyways if you want to know more about Pandy then just click on the link in the description and for all those that already have it it's a totally free update. And that sums it up for today. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to jailbreaking subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys later.